Microsoft Excel is used by a variety of professionals today to import, process, and analyze data. It became de facto standard for many jobs to do data analysis. This is why many employers require passing of Excel assessment test as part of the hiring process. To get the job, you would need to answer between 70 and 80% of questions correctly. In this video, I will share with you typical Excel formulas and function questions used in such tests. I'll provide you with answers and explanations, and I'll do demonstrations and walkthroughs to help you better understand the questions and know the answers. I will also share with you tips, tricks, and hacks to help you better prepared for the test. In this video, you will have everything you need to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Let's go ahead and get started and look at the top Excel formulas and functions questions used in the test. Very frequently, you are being tested on your knowledge of Excel formulas. And this is one of those questions, where you will be asked which formula is used to retrieve first three characters in a cell. And you're given four different choices, left, left char, get, and extract. So what does it mean, first three characters in a cell? It means that it's probably going to be on the left side. So for a sample of apple, you see on the column C, where the values are highlighted, first three characters would represent APP. For oranges, it would be ORA. So what do you think is the right choice here? As you're probably well aware, to get the first three characters on the left side, you would want to use the left formula. And when you type left and then in parentheses the cell value and the number of characters you'd like to retrieve on the left hand side, it actually gets all these characters and puts them in a different cell. So for example, in this case, for Apple, we'll get first three characters, APP. And we can replicate this formula by dragging the sign here at the bottom uh, right corner, and then it will replicate the formula for oranges and cherries as well. So the correct answer here is A, which is the left a3, and then it shows the number of characters that you're trying to retrieve. Left char is not an existing function. Get and extract also are not an existing functions in Excel. And if you're trying to see if some particular function is an existing function, all you need to do is put the value into the cell and then type equal sign and then start typing. And you see the only function that starts with left is the left function itself. So choice A is the correct answer. Can I ask you to do me a favor? If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up to tell us that you need more content like this. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Very frequently, you might be asked how to solve specific problem during Excel assessment test. For example, in this question, you will be asked how to calculate total units sold by JSON and you present it with the table down below, which shows months, salesperson, and number of units sold information. One of the salespeople here is Jason, uh, but there are also other salespeople. And the question is, what would you use? How can you find out total numbers of units sold for Jason? And the presented choices is multi-sum, sum if function, if sum function, or sum formula. Which one would you use? Typically in Excel, when you have no conditions, you can just use sum function and calculate total of sum of values. In our case, we do have one condition, as we need to calculate units sold for JSON. And for that, we would need to use sum if function. This is how sum if function will look like to calculate the required values. We have a range of B2 through B11, which is the names of salespeople, and we are finding a values for JSON which is the value of A15. And then we're getting the sum of values in the column C with the range of values C2 through C12. So when we hit enter to complete the calculation, uh, for JSON, 361 units have been sold. So the correct value for this question is value B, sum if function, because sum if function used to calculate sum of values when you need to calculate sum with one criteria condition. And this is the syntax of the formula that you can use. I'd like to ask you to participate in our daily Excel assessment test challenge. I post new questions every day in the community tab of this channel and give you an opportunity to answer this and try it. And I post the answer in the comments next day. So please make sure to check it out and test your knowledge. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. 
Very often, you might be asked the question on how to perform specific function in Excel. For example, in this question, which formula you would use to remove a percentage sign and convert it into space. In, in the example given, you see that in column A, there are values that have percentage sign in between the words. And in column B, the values already replaced percentage sign with the space sign. And the choices presented are replace, remove, find and replace function, and substitute function. So which one would you choose? The correct answer is to use substitute function. And the syntax would be substitute, then you reference the uh, cell A1, and then you're saying that you're substituting percentage sign with the space. The easiest way to replicate the values from uh, cell B2 would be to drag the values down, or you can also use copy uh, by clicking the copy button, then selecting the area for which you would like to replicate the value, and click and paste button. So the correct answer here is D, substitute function, because this function replaces any unwanted word with the word that you want. The tricky part of this question is that there is a also option that looks very, very valid. For example, find and replace function. But find and replace is the functionality in Excel. There's no such function as find and replace. So you need to be careful and read the entire answer and make sure you're not making the mistake. The only function that exists is substitute that can make this uh, substitution of percentage sign with the space. Let me share with you the best ways to learn and get prepared for Excel assessment test. You need to dedicate uninterrupted chunks of time. And when your attention drifts, make sure you take a break. You can download workbooks and repeat steps in the workbooks to make sure you understand how this exercise has been completed and done. I also recommend that you watch this video from start to finish. A lot of times there are tips and tricks and hacks shared in one part of the video that might be applicable to another part of the video and I don't want you to miss any of it. Make sure you download all the materials offered in the description of this video. And when you're watching, set the playback speed so that it keeps you engaged and gives you time to absorb the content. Here in this video you have everything you need to get you prepared. What are the smartest ways to get prepared for Excel test? One of the things you can do is download the latest version of Excel and Explore. I would consider Office 365 subscription. You get free trial and you can use it for up to 30 days and this is enough time for you to get prepared. You can also use outlines from test providers on their website. For example, Indeed.com has a lot of sample questions that they provide and the answers as well. You can also try LinkedIn Excel assessment test. One of the best ways to get ready is download and read Excel books and eBooks. And last but not least is consider subscribing to this channel. I post new videos periodically and you get answers to the latest questions that are being asked in the tests today. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. I'd like to share with you some tips, tricks and hacks how to get ready for Excel assessment test. One of the best ways to get prepared is to use mock and practice assessment tests. This helps you get better knowledge of the tool and better understanding how to pass the test. I also recommend that you read questions carefully, ideally more than once if you have enough time. Also, you should consider answer easy questions first if you have a choice of going back and forth. This allows you to get your answers in for the easy questions and then process more complicated questions with more time and knowledge and better understanding to give you more chances to get them right. I also recommend validating the answers to the questions with more than one method. For example, if you have formulas to validate the question, and then you can use pivot tables to validate the answers. And last but not least is watch training videos from this channel, from other channels, from as many sources as you can to get prepared. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Let's look at the question which Excel formula would increment month to the next and allow display February 20 in the cell A3. Here in the screenshot, we have January-20 in the cell A2. And there are four formulas presented as choices. In choice A, we have A2 plus 1, which makes logical sense. In the choice B, we have more complicated formula using date function. In the choice C, we have month A2 plus 1. And in the choice D, we have date A2 plus 1. So which one would you choose? Which one do you think is the right answer? And as you might have figured out by now, the right choice is choice B. We have the complex formula because date in Excel is very complex. You can increment the year by one, month by one, or date by one. And in our case, we're only incrementing month by one. So once we type the formula, we see that the right value shows up here, which would be February 2020. We just need to change the format here. 
And to change the format, we can use Format Painter. We just need to highlight the current format that we are looking at and apply it to the cell and expand it a little bit so it fits. So the correct answer is B, with this complex date formula where only month is being incremented by one. All other choices are designed to trick you. Let's look at the question, which Excel formula would you use in one cell to generate random numbers between 200 and 500 in the range between B2 and F13? And it shows you a sample of the random values, which has values after decimal point, and the range we're looking at between B2 and F13 populated with the numbers in the predefined range. And there are four choices. We have RAND, RAND between, RAND array. All three of those are valid Excel functions. And then the choice D, none of the above. So how would you answer? What do you think is the right choice? And if you followed along during the practice exercise, you probably learned that the RAND array is the right function. And the key here is that it asks in one cell. So to use the RAND array function, you will use this syntax. You will specify how many rows will you need to add, how many columns, which is five in our case, what is the range of values, 200 through 500, and then you will decide if you want any values after the decimal point. And if we hit enter, it will populate our values with the random numbers in the predefined range. You probably can consider other functions like rand or rand between as valid choices to answer this question, if there wouldn't be a statement here to use in one cell. Because rand array really expands, you put it in one cell and then expands into the other cells to populate all the required values. So the correct choice here is rand array and all other choices are designed to trick you. Why you might consider subscribing to this channel? This is one of the fastest way to learn and get prepared for Excel assessment test. Skills you learn are helpful today and in the future. You get answers to your questions. You have opportunity to help other people. And you have experienced professionals who already subscribed to this channel and ready to help you with any answers that you need. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Let's look at another simple question you might get as part of Excel assessment test. If cell B2 contains a text value, which function returns true? There is a screen print with different text values, and in uh, column B you see names which are text values, Jones, Smith, Brown, Johnson, Williams. And also you have four choices, is string, is text, is char, is alpha, and all of them point to the cell B2. Which one would you choose? Is text function in Excel is used to determine if the value is the text value. And you can see that it checks whether a value is text and returns true or false. All you need to do is just appoint this function to the particular cell. And then it returns true and you see that the value was automatically replicated because this uh, particular set of data is Excel table, and Excel table propagates all the values across the entire column. So the correct answer here is B, is text, and then you point to the cell where you need to calculate the value. All other choices here in the list are not valid choices, and they are designed to trick you. You can check an Excel by yourself to see that is string, is char, and is alpha functions are not available. Another important thing to keep in mind is that is text is a part of a group of functions called the is functions that return logical value true or false. And it's very good idea to memorize all these functions or at least have some familiarity which functions are available and used for particular situation in Excel. A lot of you are interested in asking me how can I help others? One of the ways you can help other people is by sharing the latest questions that you see on Excel interview and assessment test and how you answer them. Please share the questions you recently encountered in the comments section of this video. If you know the answers, please share them as well. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Very frequently, you might be presented with the question that tests your knowledge of Excel function. For example, which function returns the leftmost three characters from the cell A2? And you're presented with the screenshot or maybe without screenshot. In this case, screenshot shows four cities in the column A, and you need to calculate the value in the column B. 
And the choices presented are get function, retrieve function, left function, and then left char function. Which one would you choose? To get the leftmost characters from the string, you need to use the left function. When you type left, it shows you the function itself and what it does, and it returns the specific number of characters from the start of the text string. And left part is typically where string starts. When you open up parentheses of the left function, you see that you should supply the text uh, cell where text is located, which in our case is cell A2, and the number of characters that you're trying to get from the string, which in our case is three. And once we hit enter, it shows you that it extracted three characters from Milwaukee, which would be MIL. You can replicate this function on the rest of the cells in the column B, and you will get first three characters from the cities Chicago, Detroit, and Atlanta. So the correct answer here is C, which is left, and then in parentheses you specify where the original value of text is located, and after the comma you specify how many characters you would like to extract from the start of the string. So can you tell us how many questions did you answer correctly? Please post in the comments of this video to share with others. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. So how Excel assessment test is different during COVID-19? You need to be prepared to take Excel assessment test at home. You might be monitored using camera or other features that provider has. You also should anticipate questions based on the job position. For example, if you're applying for accountant, you need to better understand what types of work is done by accountant and what types of questions might be asked during the interview. You also need to research and practice before the test. Your ability is being tested is not necessarily your knowledge of Excel, but your ability to answer questions correctly and in a timely manner. I also recommend that you reflect after the test and take notes. After every test that you pass, look at what worked, what didn't work, and how you can improve. And last but not least, is try to improve your hands-on and Excel skills. To do that, download latest version of Excel, use practice sheets, download ebooks, and do a lot of hands-on exercises to get you ready. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Let's look at the question where you will be tested on your knowledge of VLOOKUP index and match functions. For example, the choice you need to make calculates relative position of an item in the range or a table, which is the same as specified value in the specified order. And you have four choices, VLOOKUP, MATCH, INDEX, and an INDEX plus MATCH. Which one would you choose? For example, if we type the formula for MATCH, you will see that we're trying to look up the value in E2 cell within the range of A, A2 through A6. Once we click ENTER, you will see that the calculated value in the index is 3, because bananas are number 3 within the range of A2 through A6. Now, if we change bananas to pairs, you will see that the pairs will have match value of 4 because they are force on the list in the same range. As you can see, the correct answer is B, which is match. And match is an Excel function to calculate relative position of a lookup value in a row, column, or a table. And match supports approximate or exact matching. In the combination of index match, match is used to calculate the position, and index returns the value of that position. Please make sure to check out my PDF ebook top 50 Excel interview and assessment test questions. It helped a lot of people to get hired. Also, consider subscribing to this channel. We have a lot of people helping each other and here you will get answers to all your questions related to Microsoft Excel interview and assessment test. If you like the content, please share with other people who are looking for the job and will benefit from this. And give this video a big thumbs up. If you have a question about Excel assessment test, or would like to share with us what are the recent questions that you're getting during the test, please make sure to leave them in the comments. We have a community of dedicating people helping each other to pass the test. All the best on your Excel interview and assessment test.